Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now today I'm going to be doing a little concert overview of a concert which I was at last night. I seen uh, Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Uh, so yeah, I'll just be talking a bit about the concert today and I've got a bit of footage as well at what I will share. So yeah, this is my uh, second time seeing Noel Gallagher. The first was um, probably around about this time last year, like when I seen him at the Hydro, like through in Glasgow, which as you know, like is like a big sort of like a big like arena. And like that time, like we were sitting like, um, kind of like towards the back like off like the arena so when like uh, so when like this show that like, was announced like at the Edinburgh Playhouse I really wanted to get tickets for it because it's a much more like intimate venue like basically like so like whatever you sit like you have got like a pretty a pretty good view like off the stage however we were just like so lucky to get um to get seats in the stalls stalls row H which was about like the sixth row we were slightly offset to one side but it was brilliant brilliant seats like, so yeah like, it was absolutely fantastic like well worth like the 72 pounds like it costs like for tickets so effectively this like short run of dates like, which he's doing like he's only doing about about uh, about five five shows like in like the uk like at like the moment they're kind of most like warm up warm up shows like for like his like sort of like summer festival appearances like whether like he's gonna do like a bigger tour a bigger like more extensive tour like off like the uk later in the year like i'm not too sure yet like whether um like it was um like just so it was just a great great setting like to see to see someone like kind of like off like no gallagher sort of like stature like sort of like performing like in performing like in like a sort of like a much smaller like more like intimate venue that like he would like normally be in i didn't buy like any merchandise i like, got like this concert like last time like, i could see like i did get like a t-shirt like and like a program i mean they had some nice t-shirts how however i wasn't really like so i like, wanted to shell out like another 25 pounds like for like for like another like no gallagher t-shirt so the support act for these sort of dates has been a uh, gas coon who was a former member of the band of Supergrass, like sort of like sort of like contemporaries like off like Oasis. I mean he was alright, nothing nothing too special. Like I did I did I did listen to his album from uh, last year and um, last year like before like the concert. However like I wasn't like too like taken by it. Like he was only lag he was only like sort of like average really. Anyway I have now got some footage like from like Noel's set like in total like he played for um just over like an hour and a half. So not like the longest concert like ever like only 20 tracks but yeah, like I've got like some footage now. I oh, will just warn you, um, some of it does contain me singing a little bit loudly. So yeah, like I've just like pre-warned you there.
that was uh, like some footage like from the concert. Like as like you can see, we had um, like absolutely fantastic seats. Like very, like very much, like very much so, like up close and like, intimate, like kind of setting. So yeah, I will try to go through the set list. I have to say, I actually really, really like the set list. Like this was like one of like the only times that where I've kind of like been able to sort of go to a concert, sort of not sort of, like not knowing like the set list because it's his first like full length concert like off the year. Like so like I wasn't, I, I had no idea like what to do. What to like expect and um, expect like off like the set list. So yeah, like he got there uh, 20 songs in total. So he started off like with um some tracks from his last album, Who Built the Moon. Um so those were uh, Fort Knox to start with, which went into Holy Mountain, and then It's a Beautiful World and She Taught Me How to Fly. So he sort of bundled together like all of the new stuff, which I think like worked like quite well. And um, then he went into his uh, latest single, which is called uh, Black Star Dancing, which that song has grown on me like a little bit. Like, I mean it's it's still not one of my absolute favourite right now singles. It's definitely got like like a David Bowie sort of like a uh, fashion like vibe to it. It is a good song though and like it does like come across live quite well. And then um and then we got the live debut of um what is gonna be the B-side to that song um like Black Star Dancing song called Rattling Rose which I really loved again like it's like my first time hearing that song like hearing that song like I think it was like pretty much like, everyone's first time hearing it and yeah it was really really good it's got a sort of like um more like acoustic sort of flavor to it this one here like reminds me a lot of um the style council song um have you ever had it blue like sort of like that sort of like sort of like latin like acoustic sort of vibe to it i think it worked really well like i, I really well like i'm definitely like looking forward to hearing the full studio version of that and then he sort of took us back into time back into the 90s for a couple like of um oasis tracks so he done a uh, talk tonight which i wasn't expecting like i didn't see him do this one like Live, live like the last time like I think that I think I think this is the first time like he's done this one like in like a good few years then go there the importance of being idol classic single like which like he like of course like sang lead vocals on and then another Oasis classic little by little which is a real great live song like a great like a great like crowd please of that one like especially like on like the chorus then all the bands like left the stage apart from Noel and his uh, keyboard player and they done uh, Dead in the Water which was um, the bonus track from Who Built the Moon a more sort of like again sort of like quite sort of quiet mellow acoustic track but one which the crowd really get into like everyone like knows the words like off by heart like to this one here like a great uh, again just a really great great live track then um, a song which I wasn't expecting to be part of the set list, um, taken from his um, sort of second to last album uh, called Chaser Yesterday, a uh, song The Mexican, which yeah, I wasn't expecting to hear that one. Maybe not the best song from Chasing Yesterday to do, but it certainly works well, like as like a live like arrangement, like with like his like new like female backing singers, like and like the brass section, like they really get like the teeth like into like this track, and like yeah, like it like really works well, I think. And then he got um, pro probably one of his most famous, like most well loved uh, solo tracks, If I Had a Gun, which again, absolutely perfect song yeah like fantastic track and then and then another track from uh, Chasing Yesterday um, which was uh, Lock All The Doors which um, a real like rocking song there again one which I wasn't expecting like him to do I quite like how he has sort of like uh, swapped about like some like off like the songs like which he's doing like from like his older records because last time I seen like he done um, Riverman, uh, Baldemar EI and In The Heat Of The Moment from Chasing Yesterday so it was nice to get like sort of like alternative songs like from the album like instead like off like the ones at which like I had like already heard so yeah like that was pretty cool and then the final four songs of the main set were four Oasis classics so it kicked off with the master plan which is which although it was only like a b-side and um, just what an incredible b-side like it is again live it just really like comes alive I think probably people that like, weren't really like expecting like this track because he's not done it live for like a few years but yeah just like what a song and um, like 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 absolutely fantastic then it's on their classic Wonderwall like so like what like what more like is there to say about that then uh, half the world away again another track like which was originally only a b-side but everyone knows all the words to it just a brilliant track and then the main set closed with a oasis track uh, from the early 2000s which i don't think he's done live like certainly like before like this tour uh which is uh stop crying in your heart out and um, like of course like of course like noel like singing like lead vocals like yeah like quite a nice version like noel does of it certainly like a lot better than like liam like would like manage like these days like yeah like i think like that one like works like quite well like maybe not like maybe a bit like of a downer like as like a set close 
use the like maybe like Wonder Wall that would have been a better one to sort of finish with. But yeah, like I'm glad that like he is like sort of like um like reintroducing like older like Oasis tracks like to his set list to sort of freshen it up a bit. And then the Uncle kicked off with um AKA What a Life, yeah, just a wonderful sort of like a dancey track there, like really works well. Like again, like a real live favourite of Knowles. And then uh, Don't Look Back in Anger, which was the sort of like um, the more stripped back acoustic version, which I think works out like, really well and um, really well live. Like, it would be good like if he sort of like he done like the full like sort of like the original arrangement of it like again. Like, however, I do quite like the acoustic version like as well like of the track. And then he finished the show with a cover of the Beatles song um, um, All You Need Is Love, which yeah, just like closed off the night really, really well. So yeah, overall, I thought it was a great set list. Maybe a little bit short, like only 20... 20, only 20 songs like maybe could have done with like a couple more like I feel like but like certainly like as I said like being like the first date like off like the tour like I had no idea like what to like expect like from the set list and um, which certainly made it like a lot more special like special like you weren't sort of thinking oh like he's oh like he's gonna do this one next like it was kind of like sort of like more like unpredictable like as to like where like he was gonna go something old or something new sort of thing so yeah like that like so yeah, that like made like it like a bit more like exciting. I must say nowadays he is performing great. Like he's he, he's still in absolutely fine voice. His backing bands are like, fantastic. Like with like Chris Shaddock like on drums and like Jem Archer like on like guitar again. Like as well like as well like as his um, like female female at like, backing singers like who like he's recently like introduced and um, like all just absolutely fantastic and like for me I am really I am for me I am really looking forward to his three EPs like what he's got coming out this year like he said like he's not doing a full album like instead like instead like we're getting three three four track EPs like which I'm fine with I mean like it just means it just means that like I think it's because like kind of like what he's doing now is sort of so like eclectic like so sort of different styles like it would kind of struggle to all fit like on like one record so yeah yeah, like he's got one like in uh, June which is the Black Star Dancing one and like then two more due out later in the year so yeah like really like looking forward to those. So that's been my yeah, concert review of uh, Noel Gallagher's High Fine Birds at the Edinburgh Playhouse so yeah like if like I've got if like I've got a chance to see them like on like this tour like I would definitely like recommend it like it was just great seeing them like in like a real sort of like intimate venue like as well as well like that like really that like, made that the concert for me. So yes I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you all next time for the next video. Video. Goodbye.